Murang-mura tong phone na ito, ang Redmi 14C. On spec sheet, it looks really impressive. 120 hertz of screen refresh rate. Meron din siyang 33 watts na fast charging brick sa loob. And meron din siyang 50 MP na AI dual camera. Powerful octa-core processor pa daw, oh. But in real life experience, ganun nga ba siya kaganda? Eh bago kayo mag-purchase, panoorin nyo muna itong full review natin. Now, itong Redmi 14C has a really impressive na price point. Ang ganyan 4128 is only priced at 4,999. Ang ganyan 6128 is priced at 5,999. And ang ganyan 8,256 is priced at 6,999. Official link on the description box below. Now, one of the things that you would love dito sa phone na ito, it looks really elegant. Out of the box, I would say, personally, ah, it looks really nice. Mukha siyang Huawei Mate 50 Pro. Yung kanyang camera ring dito looks almost exactly the same. Kinopia nila kay Huawei, there's no denying it. And likod niya is quite shiny, so expect there would be fingerprint smudges. Plastic back, plastic frame, and glass ang kanyang harap. Officially, wala ko nabasa ko ano ang glass protection dito. So, I guess siguro Cordy Gorilla Glass 3 at the very least. Teardrop notch pa rin siya for 2024 na phone. And makapal din na ka ng bezel dito sa baba. One of the upside dito sa phone na ito, it gives you a triple card slot. So, meron kang dalawang 4G na SIM na pwede ilagay plus isang micro SD expansion. So, pagdating sa design category, I really have no problem with it. Maganda siya. So, after yung design niya na maganda, things would start to get ugly. So, hang in your seats. So this phone is being powered by the MediaTek Helio G81 Ultra. So I guess it's a weaker na G85. So this is the score na nakuha niya, a 235,000 points. So alam naman natin, pag ganito ang score, eh medyo mahina talaga siya. So this is the breakdown score na nakuha natin. So in terms of experience, the phone is quite laggy. And I would honestly tell you na sometimes, pag nagsisettings ako, pag nagswipe ako ng back, hindi siya nag-respond. Dalawa, tatlo, three, four times bago nag-respond itong phone na ito. Ganon kalag itong phone na ito. Just real talk. No? So kahit gawin pa niya ng G81 na Omega, G81 na Supernova, kung olats ang performance, it would always be olats. 158 ang loop score and 97% ang kanya stability dito sa Wild Life Extreme. This one throttled to 78 ang kanya max performance and there are some minor red lines along the way. Ito ang score na nakuha natin sa Kickbench, sa CPU benchmarking and ito naman sa GPU benchmarking. So meron siyang isang workload na nag-fail kaya inassign siya ng zero. Now, this phone has a 5,150 mAh battery, which is quite huge naman, and it's a little bit above industry standard. And this one can support 18 watts na charging. I was really thrilled na nakuha ko tong 33 watts na fast charging brick out of the box. Ah, kala ko, uy, panalo, 33 watts para sa ganitong presyo. I ain't complaining. Pero despite of having a 33 watts na fast charging brick, kinabit ko siya, quick charge lang na achieve ko, so that's just 18 watts. Kasi kung 33 watts na makukuha mo, it would say it's turbo charging. So take note of that. So kung hindi kayo maalam sa specs, eh baka naloko kayo ng 33 watts sa charging brick. Magagamit mo to pero hindi mo makukuha ang kanyang full potential na charging speed. Well, and honestly, this phone can last you a whole day without charging and very efficient naman ang kanyang battery. That's on the upside. Now, on the, now let's go to the display. This one has a 6.88 inch na screen. For me, it's quite huge and I'm quite impressed. And it's a IPS LCD. This one can only display up to 720p and meron daw siyang 120Hz na screen refresh rate. And pinaka max niya na brightness is 600 nits. Now, on the side of things, masasabi ko sa inyo, hindi optimized ang 120Hz na pinapromise ni Redmi 14C. Kasi kahit anong gawin ko, hindi man lang siya umabot ng 120Hz. Be it sa Chrome, sa YouTube, sa TikTok, sa Facebook, lahat yan. 60 hertz lang ang meron. The only time na lumalabas ang 90 is pag nasa home screen ako and nasa setting screen ako. Yun lang. Could it be bugs? Could it be UI problem? I'm not quite sure kasi this one is already updated to the latest Hyper OS na update ni Redmi 14C. Ganun din man nararanasan nyo sa 14C nyo or 13C? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you're browsing naman sa socials, parang naiiwan habang nagsuscroll ako kasi ako personally, sana ako sa 120 hertz eh, 144 hertz. So, if my eyes going down to 60 hertz, makikita ko, mararamdaman ko. So, 
So sabi ko parang nang bibitin. Though sinet ko naman sa 120, so I expect it to perform at 120 hertz. Smooth ang swiping experience. But hindi ko siya na-achieve. When you're watching videos naman dito on YouTube, and since this one only has a level to the Wi-Fi security level, okay naman ang experience. Just don't expect it to be as good as an AMOLED display. And it's just a 720p display. So guys, right after two days ko ni-review itong phone nito, tapos na mag-shoot, bigla nag-push siya ng update. So in-update natin to. And I discovered something. There's a little bit of improvement <laughs> dito. And binigyan ako ni Redmi 14C a taste of the 120 hertz. Saan ko nga lang ba siya nakita? Pakita ko sa inyo. Pag nasa settings ka, makita mo, mahabot siya ng 120. But still sa shorts, wala ka makita na 120. Dito sa YouTube, wala. Eh, 60 pa rin siya. But there's a new discovery kung saan ko siya nakita 120. Pag nanood ka ng full landscape video, na achieve na niya 120. Before, wala yan. Okay? So this time around, makapag 120 ka na. Yan. So select tayo ng different video. Yan. 120 na. Kaya na umabot. Pero sa shorts, wala pa rin. Eh, sa TikTok, kahit sa shorts, wala ka rin ma-achieve, no? Pupitik ng 120, pero wala. Okay? This is a full video. Full landscape video. Pero it's still 60. Okay? Scroll up ka. This is a uh, portrait format na video. 60 pa rin. So sa TikTok, dalaga hindi na support ng 120. Wala. Wala dalaga. Sa YouTube, kay pa paano nabibigyan ng 120. Pero dito sa labas ng home screen, it's 90. Nasa Chrome, tingnan natin. There are times na pag nagsiscroll ako dito, naka-achieve ako ng 120. Minsan nabibigyan ako ng 120. Pero... There are times na wala rin. Ayan, pabaligay siya sa 60. Then, ayan, pumipitik-pitik. May glimpse lang ng 120. Pero hindi siya stable. So yun guys, nakita nyo na slight improvement ng 120Hz dito sa Redmi 14C. And you can only get some updates dito sa channel natin at Gadget Psychic wherein normally sa iba, hindi na sila mag-update. So don't forget to subscribe din. Now, since itong phone na ito only has one loud firing speaker dito sa lalim, but on the upside, meron siyang audio jack dito, check lang natin kung gano'ng kalakas ang tugtog na ito. Well, the sound is just average, not really that loud. Siguro a little bit below average pa nga for me. Kasi isa lang ang speaker. So you have to use your TWS or your favorite wired na headphones para ma-enjoy ang sounds immersively. Now, nag-try ako maglaro ng two games dito. Actually, pala ko tatlo. But si Call of Duty Mobile, pakita ko sa inyo guys ano nangyari, no? I did try my best to run Call of Duty Mobile, pero every time na naglo-load ako, it crashes. Siguro nangyari sa akin ito po mga 3 to 4 times, kaya medyo nag-give up ako. Nung tinay ko naman sa Garina, I did want to try to log in sa aking Garina account. Kahit anong pindot ko naman sa username, eh hindi ako makapag-type. Ayaw lumabas yung keyboard. So, I gave up. So, nilaro ko dito is MLNC Farlight 84. Now, pati sa ML, medium graphical settings ang kaya natin set and the gameplay was just okay. There are times na mafe-feel mo, there are some lags along the way and the gameplay was just average. Nothing really special kasi bansi ko, parang nagte-teleport mga kalaban pang naglalaban kayo and there are times na talaga mafe-feel mo naglalag ka kasi magugulat ka lang bigla kang namatay eh lumalaban ka pa, half pa yung buhay mo. Pero so meaning, there are lags and frame drops along the way kaya medyo kailangan mo yung lower down pa lalo ang kainang graphical setting just to be able to enjoy and after 30 minutes of gameplay, 44 degrees Celsius. Medyo mainit. Pagdating sa Farlight 84, lowest graphical setting sa sinet natin. And gameplay was so-so. Makita mo, pag drop pa lang galing sa capsule, eh, medyo nagsistutter na siya. So, sa gameplay, expect mo na it won't, won't be really that good as expected naman. May frame drops along the way. After 15 minutes, medyo mas naging heavier pa ang kanyang mga frame drop. Medyo mainit din to Umabot din siya ng 45 degrees Celsius. So, I would say na this phone can give you some very basic na gaming experience. Probably Candy Crush or just ML at the lowest graphical settings. Now, camera naman tayo. This one has a 50MP na main camera sensor with a 2MP na depth sensor and a 0.08MP na auxiliary lens. This one can let you shoot up to 1080 and 30. And again, ang front-facing camera is a 13MP na can also let you shoot up to 1080p and 30fps. So, right now, we'll quickly browse through some of the photos sa kuha natin dito sa Redmi 14C. Now, we'll be able to capture some good photos on outdoor condition. And looking at some of this flower na nakuha natin, you'll see, ah, mga ugat niya, andyan pa rin ang kanyang details. And to my surprise, it looks quite good naman on outdoor shots. So, uh, browsing through some of these flowers, makita natin, maganda ang mga details na makukuha mo. 
Plan lang this one. This is one of my favorite na nakuha ko among all of the flower shots na nakuha natin. Na kung kumukuha ka naman ng mga landscape shots, well, it's just average. Nothing really special to brag about it. But I would say na there are still some details na makakapture mo sa mga clouds dito on this camera. Now, taking some shots naman habang nasa NLEX tayo, well, looks okay, normal. And if you're using yung kanyang 2x zoom lens, ito ang output na makuha mo. Oh, well, decent naman ang shot na nakuha ko pero medyo grainy pag zoom in mo na. Now, if you're taking some low-light food photography, okay lang naman siya. Not really the best na makukuha mo at this price range, but I would say just decent shots na makukuha mo. Uh, taking some cheesecake shots, some donut shot, looks just okay. Yung mga signboard shot, looks decent lang naman. Now, if you're trying to play naman yung kanyang zoom lens, this is a normal, and this is a zoom in shot, well, okay pa rin naman. Nababasa ko pa rin mga shots after zooming it in. And trying to take some bokeh shot, looks good, pero hindi lang ganun ka-fine ang ganyang pagka-bokeh. Now, if you're out there using the front-facing camera, and this is what you're, you're going to expect. Okay, some decent shots na makukuha mo, but probably not the best from the camera with the budget constraint na binibigay mo dito sa, sa, sa phone na ito, you'd get some of this result. Not bad, but not really that good. Now, pagdating naman sa low light, expect na medyo magiging soft ang mga photo, lala this one. Kita natin, soft na soft na ang mukha natin. Just don't expect too much if you're using the selfie camera on indoor. So guys, right now, hawak natin ang Redmi 14C and this is a very, very basic na phone na meron ni Xiaomi at just 4,999. This is the video quality you'll be getting shooting at 1080p and 30 fps and right now i'm recording using yung kanyang default audio so masabi mo now nakita na natin yung kanyang front facing camera performance on outdoors good but pagdating sa indoor medyo mapansin yung medyo magsosoften siya ng konti but hindi naman siya sobrang shaky na yung garapal na shake controlled pa naman and ito naman makukuha mo when you're using the rear camera taking a 1080p na video Medyo shaky din siya, just like your front camera. I would say na it would be best if you use a gimbal just to stabilize this one. But medyo shaky nga nakakahilo. Now guys, for 4,999, what can you expect naman from this phone? Honestly, I didn't expect it to be this bad. Kasi the design is really good. I was impressed. Nung sinimulan kong gamitin tong phone na ito, eh medyo naiinis ako. One, hindi ko kaya achieve 120Hz sa pinapromise si Xiaomi dito. And two, yung kanyang charging brick is very contradicting. 33 watts sa binigay mo. Pero this one can only charge up to 18 watts. And experience is quite bad kasi naglalag, ang tagal mag-swipe, ang bagal mag-response. And there are games that halos hindi mo na siya ma operate dito sa phone na ito. But if you're just going to use this as a backup phone or pang call and text lang or pang social media, eh, okay lang naman siya. But if you want to use it a little bit beyond that one, eh, think about it. But kung gusto niyo malaman kung saan niyo pwede mabili ito, link on the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it to your friends. And if you to this channel, it's definitely awesome. I'll see you in my next one. So, ito naman ang camera ni Redmi 14C. If you're walking, using yung kanyang camera, Taking a 1080p and 30fps the video footage, this is what you'll see. So, ano masabi nyo sa video na ito?